so I just talk in this thing and it records my voice? Yeah, it's a microphone. Okay. Hello, my name is Norm Hiccup. I am a bicyclist and this is my story. Everyone knew the name Norm Hiccup in the motorcycle world. Back then when you thought about motorcycles, you'd think Harley Davidson, you'd think two wheels, <laughs> and you'd think Norm Hiccup. Oh yeah, of course I knew Norm. You know, if there was a race, Norm was there racing. Racing and racing and racing and losing. That guy lost a lot. Hey, guys, it's not a race, slow down. It was a race and he knew that. Great race, guys. But you, but you shouldn't go that fast. You need to slow down. Why, why are you like huffing and puffing, bro? I don't know. I honestly don't even know why he competed. I think he just owned a motorcycle. He was the Michael Jordan of losing. And then the craziest thing happened. So it was shortly after losing your, what was it? 65th motorcycle race that had happened? Well, that's completely unrelated to losing my 65th motorcycle race. But it happened directly after a loss, right? Unrelated things happen after other unrelated things all the time. That's a common expression. Why don't you just tell us what happened? I had always known that something about me was different. There was something wrong. It was as if I had something inside of me as a motorcyclist that I needed to let out. After a lot of thought and reflection, and in no way related to the number of motorcycle races I lost, I finally realized that my life as a motorcyclist was a lie. I was a bicyclist. A man by the name of Norm Hiccup has made history today. Hey, this is the Handlebar Podcast, and today we're talking about Norm Hiccup. a tractor driving dentist, I feel Norm really represents the trans vehicle. I love Norm! Joining the race is Norm Hiccup! Wait, I thought he raced motorcycles. I never felt better. Free to be my true self. Live my truth. Just be me. And win races. Completely unrelated. But now that you mention it, the craziest thing happened. I started winning races. Can you believe it? Things were looking up. I was finally me, the real me, and separately, coincidentally, happening at the exact same time, I'm a gold medal athlete. I'd never seen a bicyclist like Norm. Tremendous focus, deeply motivated, and his bike had a 200 horsepower engine that could go from zero to 60 in three seconds. I remember I interviewed Norm around this time. He's a mega star, not only winning trophies left and right, but also a, a huge inspiration to the trans vehicle community. And, and, I, and I said, Norm, when did you know you were actually a bicyclist? And you know what he said? He said, I was looking at a bicycle. And I thought, my motorcycle's faster than that. And that's when I knew who I was. But the thought and the realization just happened to be at the same time, a total coincidence. Did any of the bicyclists oppose Norm's decision? Was anyone not happy about it? Not if they wanted to keep their livelihood or reputation. Not after Sam. I'm Sam. I'm, I was the greatest bicyclist in the world. No one faster than me. <clears throat> Until Norm. And then all I said was, hey, this guy's a motorcycle. And the next thing I know, Teen Vogue magazine runs over my racing bike with a steamroller and kidnaps my children. I still don't know where they are. Some people were intolerant. It's true. People have called me a hero. They said I'm inspiring. Kids look up to me. Adults lavish me with praise. But when I look in the mirror and I see that person staring back at me, the real me, all I see is all those things that I just said. I agree with it. Kyle Mann here, Editor-in-Chief of the Babylon Bee. On behalf of the Babylon Bee, I would like to make the following statement about Twitter. Twitter is... Twitter is a... 
Twitter is the best website of all time. I love it this much. So don't subscribe to the Babylon Bee. Tweet instead.